And welcome back, everyone, to part five of What If Chi Chi Kept Trading, the Dragon Ball What If series. Last time on the Dragon Ball Z What If, this androids had awoken and Cell had arrived. Uh, but it was quickly um, thwarted by the fact that 16 had been reprogrammed by Bulma because they had actually been able to find 16 at the time and basically get rid of the Kill Goku programming. And she just basically said, do not kill Goku, protect Earth, and based, more or less because of his programming, he sacrificed himself to obliterate Cell, which we know almost certainly would have done the trick. Um, Cell honestly got lucky when it came to the whole King Kai thing. Um, but that leaves us now with the aftermath of the fight. Ultimately, 17 and 18 agree to just kind of be cool about things, try to find a purpose in life. Uh, go out and just live their lives. Trunks objects to this, but ultimately it's not his choice to make. Goku says, don't worry, we'll, meet, uh, we'll keep it, uh, an eye on these guys just in case. Uh, and so uh, this leads to the seven-year time skip. So they use this Dragon Ball ultimately, ultimately to wish the people that Cell took out back. Uh, but this leads to the seven-year time skip, and... Unfortunately, this is where good things and bad things happen for our cast. Vegeta has, at this point, most likely uh, has uh, returned to Earth, as he as he does. He's got Super Saiyan under his belt at this point. Long, especially seven years, he's almost certainly got Super Saiyan under his belt. But that, that said, and Trunks gets Super Saiyan, sure, but that said, you still have Goku and Gohan training, Chi-Chi still training them, Goten being born, and what happens in that seven-year time skip? Well, first off, Hercule's not the savior of the world. He's still the martial arts champ because they haven't been participating. He's still beloved, but he's not the world champ. Power-wise, though, Goten is the league stronger than Trunks right now. Because he's got the added advantage of having his big brother who trains, his mother who trains him and is a lot stronger than she is in the canon, and his dad who trains him. So Goten could uh, would honestly be, probably be pushing levels like three or four times that of Trunks just base form, or level wise alone. Uh, Super Saiyan wise too, he's probably like in the Namek saga level because as far as we could tell, Trunks and Goten. Although there's that special that implies they were strong enough to take on Frieza, we do not get a good idea if they're actually that strong. I would say we get Goten probably, if not late Namek Saga to early Android Saga levels of Super Saiyan power, which is probably much stronger than what you get in the Boo Saga. Gohan has not grown weaker. In fact, he's kept training and most likely has Super Saiyan 2 under his belt after seven years of training, as does Goku. But Goku does not have Super Saiyan 3 at this time. And the reason for that is he doesn't, didn't even have Super Saiyan 2 initially. And any argument I can make for him achieving Super Saiyan 3 while stopping a living body is only if he's got... Technically grade 5, but only if he's got Super Saiyan 2 prior to the 7-year time skip. Here, he most likely had to train to get Super Saiyan 2. Now, granted... They've been training pretty hard with those uh, Super Saiyan 4, so they've got a very good grasp of it. Vegeta does have at least a perfected Super Saiyan down, but does not have a Super Saiyan 2. Which leads us now to the conversation of, do they even participate in the martial arts tournament this time around? Because the reason they did that is because Goku wanted to participate, and he had some free... Um, uh, he had some credit that allowed him to come back for 24 hours, and they thought it'd be a good way to bring him back, uh, and a good way to spend time with him. Well... I don't know if you would really get that here. The issue with that is there's no reason. They've had plenty of martial arts tournaments. There's been no reason for them to participate. Piccolo, by the way, is still Piccolo, so he's doing fine. Uh, Krillin did end up marrying 18 after a while, so I think that still ultimately happens as well. I think, honestly, you do not get any of the major players participating. I think the only one you might we could see an argument for is Goten participating. That's the only one who, who, who uh, I could see an argument for. Uh, and even then, I don't, I don't necessarily see uh, that. I, I I don't see that necessarily happening because they do still make a living. Um, they they do still make a a living as Goku being a farmer. 
Uh, and apparently they uh, they don't make a bad living either. It just takes, because of farming, it takes a while. Um, so, yeah, and you got the support of the Ox King as well. So, yeah, I don't, uh, I actually don't see them participating in the martial arts tournament in this case, which baffles Shin and Kabito because they're like, I wish, sir, they would be here. Hmm. Uh, well, we can't go out, we can't go looking for them right now. We have to keep our eyes out for the others. And so, really, Yamum and Spovovich steal um, really not very impressive energy. I think they ultimately go with stealing Kabito's energy as the ploy and go and steal his energy and then they heal him up and go after him. Uh, meanwhile, you know, there's, they got the gang. Now, I can say this, even though they don't participate, maybe they do go to the martial arts tournament and they're a little surprised by what they saw. So maybe Goku and Gohan uh, go, or Goku and Vegeta and Piccolo, some member, some group of them go and follow after Shin and Kabito. Um, and so you can make the argument then, yeah, sure, Goten participated. He ultimately would have won that fight. Uh, but I, I don't know if you'd get any other participation beyond that. Uh, now, Gohan's relationship with Adele, is that any different? Yeah, maybe. Uh, and this is due to the fact that Videl ultimately would still be curious about Gohan. But Videl doesn't get the whole... Doesn't get to go out fighting crime just because she's the daughter of the martial arts champ. She was the daughter of the savior of the world. I think that was more the reason for it. And plus the martial arts champ. But I don't believe she gets to go out and just go fight crime all the time. <laughs> I don't see that happening. So, I, I think she still takes an interest in Gohan being like, just like, what's his deal? But I don't see her going out of her way to try to, uh, uh, sorry, I got a hair on my glasses. Come on, get off my glasses. Oh, no, is this, this is not a hair. Oh, no, do I have a, do I have a, a huge, oh, God, I have a huge scratch on my glasses. Wow. Oh, that sucks. Uh, well, that's, I wonder how that happened. That is a big scratch i mean is it bothering me no it's it's fine enough that's not going to bother me if i'm focusing can i see it like on my eye yeah i can see it but wow, i'm wondering how the hell that happened um anyway i digress so uh they so still i think the whole kibito and shin thing does at least garner the interest of some of them uh vegeta probably follows after goku Gohan probably goes. I think Gohan is at least still still gets angry with how Spovovich um, tr uh, is kicking the ass of Adele. Uh, but I, unfortunately, he's in the crowd and they can't do anything. Add on to the fact that I don't know if you get Videl training with Gohan in this version. Uh, this is due to the fact, again, she doesn't get to be involved in like the whole police. She may want to. She may, And that might be a little bit more like, a, uh, like the self-righteous good part of her, but a little bit of the ego as well. Uh, but she can't. So I have a feeling, despite everything, despite everything, she doesn't train with Gohan. Uh, that's not to say she doesn't have some sort of uh, decent relationship with him. It's just she doesn't train with him, uh, and therefore whatever romance could build from that is a little is not negated, but it's uh, stunted. So they would go, uh, they would go and do their thing. <laughs> they go do their thing. Uh, they go and find. Uh, you know, Shinning is like, um, so who are you, who, uh, who are you lot? Why, why are you following us? Although, wait, I know you, you're Goku. It's like, yeah, I'm Goku. Wait, who are you guys? Uh, there's little time to talk. All you need to know is I am the Supreme Kai, this is my attendant Kibito, and we are all trying to stop a great evil from being unleashed upon your world. Uh, it's like, well, and they briefly explain on the way there. <laughs> Sounds like you would have made a decent scene. You're wrong. He said long before your Saiyan race, he would have wiped out your Saiyan race with a breath. Why didn't someone tell me he could read minds? Um, and so they get there, Deborah still shows up, turns Piccolo to stone, I was even, and Kibito, and, uh, roast Kibito, and then they go in, fight Pui, Vegeta gets him, uh, Goku, I think, takes on Yakon, and Gohan takes Deborah. So, uh, the order that happens is still the same, however, how, what goes down is very different, because Gohan, like I said, has Super Saiyan 2, and has never gotten weaker in this version. If anything, he's probably close to, if not a little above his Namekian, or his Namekian, um, his Cell game levels of power, which means 
he is strong enough to beat Debora. And Debora is not dumb enough, is not dumb. He can pick up on this guy is this guy is strong. What the hell? This guy is strong. How could how could a mortal be so strong? Ugh. Fortunately, though, he, you know, still F's off before they get the chance. Goku or Vegeta, I think, would be a lot more uh, ruthless. Well, Vegeta definitely. Goku at least would not be so inclined to let him go. But anyway, go on still being young and more, you know. Less inclined for fighting, uh, and I say less inclined. It's more that. Um, uh, sorry, I have a at light on the other side here. Uh, cool little flashlight too. I, I didn't even. We had, it probably wasn't ours. It probably was my uh, girlfriend, girlfriend's, my uh, my sister's boyfriend, um, and they probably just left it here. But hey, mine now. I like it. It's a cool light. Um, very very simple. Just being. Uh, but um, uh, so. They get back, and Deborah gets back. He's, you know, he's a little roughed up. Bobby he does at least the night. The, the respectable thing is heal his um, his subordinate up because like you'll, you know, no use to me if you can't fight Deborah. Thank you, Lord Bobby. Uh, whatever. Um, but and then they sense Vegeta, who really has not been able to get over Goku at all. Still, Goku has always been able to beat him and been stronger, and it still really irritates him. And so they use, they possess him, and he, we get Majin Vegeta. We do not get as strong of a Majin Vegeta because the, the that was one thing I never did a video on that I I maybe should is just theorizing what exactly is the amp of the Majin symbol? Is there any amp at all? Because the more the longer I think about it, the more I'm wondering if there actually was an amp. We get the impression there is some sort of amp thanks to what we see with Yamu and Spopovich. They were never able to fly or shoot energy blasts before that happened. So we know there is an amp, but I'm guessing it is not a very large amp. What it is more is it's reducing your, it's releasing your inhibitions and kind of just revealing your darkness and letting your darkness come to the head. It also gives Bobby full control over you if, you know, if the desired, if that's the desired effect. So uh, with Vegeta, I'm almost certain it did not give him Super Saiyan 2 at this point. I'm certain it didn't. I'm, what I am certain of is that it just amped his Super Saiyan 2, and it, it basically it amped his base, with the, which by extension would amp his Super Saiyan forms. Which means that even though Goku and him were fighting evenly initially, it does mean Goku actually was still the stronger of the two. And here, even though it's amping him, uh, he can't, he, maybe his anger pushes him to Super Saiyan 2, but he's still much stronger than Goku. So him and Goku F off, and they basically go and have their fight. Now, the big difference here, the big difference, is this fight can go on a lot longer if necessary. Because the amount of energy they got from Kibito was not anything amazing. At best, Boo might be at like 5 or 10%, whereas before, Boo was at 50% because he took all of Gohan's energy at Super Saiyan 2. So, they go back to the ship, Deborah and Gohan, Gohan confronts Deborah again, uh, and they're ready to fight. And Shin's also there, and they... They their fight continues. Gohan's like, yeah, screw this. He's like, oh wait, no, ah. He's like, yeah. But Pablo, you will not. Uh, you know, I will not let you get away with this. And so their fight goes down. Vegeta and Goku's fight is going down. And you get a lot of those the, the tropes. Like he still does some techniques. Like he pins Goku to the the uh, the rock. It's like you would feel humiliated. You don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> um, that was the. Uh, and again, you still get that, no, I refuse, he's like, uh, you may have my mind, my body, but there's one thing a sand always keeps, his pride! Like, it's still one of the best, like, just single moments in Dragon Ball. It's like, yeah, Vegeta, you're the bad guy at the moment, we love you, <laughs> yeah! Uh, so, ultimately, though, Goku's like, I don't have time for this, Vegeta, <laughs> and just powers up the full, his full power at Super Saiyan 2, because even... In those forms, Super Saiyan 2, 3, Hell 4, Super Saiyan Blue, God, there, Super Saiyan, you can still control your key output. It just gets harder at certain le higher levels, particularly Super Saiyan 3. Um, so Goku doesn't have, and, Go and Super Saiyan Blue is all about your key control. So Goku probably even at Super Saiyan 2 is not going all out. So he finally just says, I've had enough of this, just, ah, then finally just comes in just, Starts wailing on Vegeta. It's like, oh, this is it, Kakarot. The final blow. In this world, these people, they mean nothing to the men like us. This battle is everything. We shall go out together. Can it, God? 
Kamehame, and they just clash. And ultimately, Goku is the attack that was like, no, no, no! And then Goku also just kind of rushes in, making sure that he's not going to blow. He's making sure that he's going to basically do what Vegeta did against Cell and not hit the planet. And ultimately, boom, he actually does what he, Vegeta did to Cell, except worse. Vegeta's just, you know, he's missing all of this. And just falls down dead. Fortunately, now they will wish Vegeta back. Because Vegeta ultimately was under the control of uh, Bobbity, all that. And so they, even though it was terrible things he did, including, you know, killing all those people, he, he'll have to wait. Fortunately, Goku probably also has some, the Senzu beans on him, and he eats one, recovers, makes sure that, uh, to bring Vegeta by along. As the, and, you know, the fight has gone outside of Bobbity's ship. Now, where is the power meter for Boo right now? I could see it only just now starting to approach 50%. As Gohan's like, you're, you're strong, but you're not strong enough, boy. It's like, no, no, you. And he pulls out his sword, die! And he's like, I got you. And just, no, go home, look out! It's like, ah! It's like, no! It's like, go on, no! It's like, it's over, boy. It's like, and then all of a sudden, they sense a power, and they see, like, go on! His Goku just, <laughs> just grabs the butt. Oh! It's like, ah, and just blasts the butt. Ah! Um, Shin is able to pre almost uh, only just catch Gohan. He's like, oh, thank goodness. Say, like, uh, the, the only way to undo the uh, do Deborah's spell is to kill uh, kill him. It's like, uh, it's like, is that right? Well, you, you're uh, normally I try to give my opponents a chance. Oh, and go, but the is just getting up. To, uh, but if they're killing you is the only way to save my son. Uh, and again, there's the Dragon Balls, but they already only have two wishes, so it's like, nah. Um Well, actually, they only have one wish, because Kami's still around. Um, so, yeah, they, I think after a while, after this, they have, uh, basically talked to Kami about, you know, trying to fix the Dragon Balls and what they should do. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, actually, I'm blanking on if I... Um, if I had Kami and Piccolo Fuse in the last one. I checked how I ended it, but I can't... I actually think I did. So they don't have the Dragon Balls right now, actually. Now you can make the argument, well, maybe they went to Nami. Maybe they got in touch with King Kai, asked if someone could be the new Guardian of the Earth. And yeah, if they didn't do that during the seven-year time skip, I think that is the logical route to get the Dragon Balls back after the fact. But right now, they uh, they don't have Dragon Balls. Either way, uh, Goku just finally... Just... <laughs> Finally, just come ha me no, and just overwhelms the boys, and then finally Piccolo and Gohan just suddenly just, go, say no, the boy, what, 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 and he sees Vegeta go, no, please, Yaku, no, everyone gone, you will not take my prize from me, but well. Boo will destroy you all, even if he isn't as full of power. And he, he looks, he senses the gauge. Only at 60%. It would have to do. All right. Uh, you will not win that easy guy. But probably, uh, 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 I will not let you win, Bobbity. Boo, Boo is not yet released, which means, um, which means you could be, uh, I could kill you right now. And it, it, it will, your plans will end here. But no, you will stand for your crimes. All Jelly put does beat knocks the Bobbity out. Just, mm, mm, mm. Uh, and and uh, Kibito's obviously... Oh, no, Kibito's gone still at the moment. But um, they, it ends with Boo's cocoon, if you will. And um, and Bobby basically gag-bound, whatever. And the thanking of everything that Goku and the gang did for them. It's like, it's, you know, it was our pleasure, Supreme Kai, but right now we gotta, uh, we gotta figure out how to uh, get the... Dra we gotta figure out how to get the Dragon Balls working again. We can always ask Namekians Nemeki, if they're willing to send someone to be our new guardian. They probably have someone who, uh, from the from those uh, from that clan. It's like, oh, that's not a bad idea. Cool. Uh, <laughs> um, and so, uh, uh and so, uh, so buttons. And so that, uh, so they ultimately get someone back now. I'm also remembering now that I'm pretty sure I had Guru actually fuse the Kami. Uh, now, I didn't really do any of um, anything with that. Uh, 
And I also, if I'm not uh, mistaken, I believe I did have Kami fused with Piccolo still. But that would imply that Kami actually has all the ability, that Piccolo now has all the abilities of Guru. And has honestly probably just, because he's still, mostly he's still Piccolo, mind you. Uh, he has completely forgotten these facts. That he actually has these potential, <laughs> the ability to unleash potential and whatnot. So after the fact, uh, Piccolo it basically brings up the fact that, uh, look, there's something I should bring up. He's like, oh, what's that, Piccolo? Uh, when uh, when I fused with Kami all those years ago, he uh, he had also fused with the Grand Elder as well. Um, uh, so it's uh, so yeah yeah you did. Well, did you get anything good out of it? Well, I hadn't really thought of it until this time, honestly. So, and you might be asking, seven years? Why didn't you think of it? Because, honestly, A, he doesn't want to cheat. B, he can't use it on himself. So he didn't really even think to use it for anything for the longest time. There was just no point. It's more The idea of using it is, be, is better left off as, like, your, your amp when you on, honestly need it than just, you know... Granted... Piccolo did it to kind of catch up, and that's kind of one of the reasons he did it. Guru just offered it, but they also needed the amp, yeah, because Guru knew what they were up against. So I think Piccolo just never thought about it. Uh, it's like, well, wait, so you could amp uh, you could amp us all up? It's like, uh, I could, yes, I could. Well, some of you. I know you Krill, uh, you, uh, you and Krillin are no good, uh, good go on. You've already had your uh, the potential unlock from Guru. Uh, but Goku could still definitely take it. it was like, Wait, really? You could ant me up, uh, uh, Piccolo? Sure, uh, sure. I uh, took me a little while to remember how to do it. I just never had a real reason to do it till now. Um, oh, okay. And so we, and then he probably does it to go on in Trunks as well, uh, and even doing it to Young Dende, who gets to come over and be the new guardian to help amp them up. Uh, so we cut now to the aftermath, and years later, where Beerus wakes up. Goku is still on Earth. Uh, honestly, the whole issue with Beerus, uh, that, there lead, there's a problem with that. Because eventually Vegeta is brought back. He still has to struggle with training, and he realizes he kind of deserves it. He hates it, but he deserves it. Uh, and he, I think he's still come to accept Goku as the stronger of the two. The problem is, yes, Goku got a huge amp, and may have even hit Super Saiyan 3 thanks to that amp, he's still no match for Beerus. Like, no one is matched for Beerus. The only thing, way the Beerus thing can go, anyone can match Beerus right now is to get God Key. Uh, and this is a problem because you have Vegeta, you have Trunks, you have Goten, you have Gohan, and you have, um, and you have Goku. Which, if I'm remembering correctly, you need one more. <laughs> and, uh, there is no, I think Gohan and Videl might only just be dating in this episode, or episode, in this, at this point in time. Like, they, I mean, I'm sure they may have a sexual relationship, but, I mean, they're young adults, so sure, but, uh, I don't, um, I don't know if Videl would be pregnant with Pan right now. The only other way is to go out and look and look for another Saiyan if they could find one, which we know, apparently, Tarble is canon. Uh, he's just out there some, and we know Paragus and Broly are out there as well. So you get two scenarios here, which is the more likely, that Videl is back pregnant with Pan, or that they just don't get Super Saiyan God, or they gotta do it a more unconventional way. Probably the latter, that they don't get initially get a Super Saiyan God, but Whis, they ask Whis, like, could you maybe find us a Saiyan? Uh, we, uh, another Saiyan out there, Whis? I mean, I'm sure there might be some uh, someone else out there. Uh, and to be, uh, no, to be fair, well, no, Vegeta, I mean, Vegeta's kind of chilled out a bit more again. He's still not super and turns up <laughs> super. He's still not his super personality where he actually was pretty chill. He was, he was a decent guy, all things considered. He was a bit of an ass sometimes, but he was a decent guy. Um, uh, but uh, I don't think he and Bulma have had bra yet. But fortunately, Whis goes, hmm, uh, hold on, let me see. <laughs> and Beerus, oh, Be meanwhile, is just eating stuff. He's, like, mm. He's eating his pudding because there's no boo around. He's like, hmm, I seem to have found one. His name seems to be Tarble. T Tarble? Uh, wait, oh, you know him, Vegeta. That's my brother. You have a brother, Vegeta? Yeah, yeah, yes, I have a brother. He was sent off to another planet, though. He's considered too weak to really be of any, uh, any use. Uh... Well, would you be so kind as to bring him, uh, 
Oh, well, if, uh, if you like, I can get him a two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hmm. And it's like, and the tar boy's wife says, ah, where are we? He's like, big, big brother Vegeta? Yes, yeah, hello, Tom. Oh my god, it's, oh my god, it's so good to see you. Now, get off me, you're, you're disgracing, you're, being, you're embarrassing yourself, where's your pride? Uh, it's like, sorry, but well, what exactly do you guys need? Yeah, it's like, ah, uh, it's like, oh, Tarbo, would you be so kind? Uh, oh, see, we're doing a little thing to make a Super Saiyan God uh, come into being, and we need an extra hand. Would you be so kind as to lend your energy? Um, I mean, I don't know what I can do, but yeah, sure, I'd love to. Excellent! That's, that's the spirit. We, no, if you lads would be so good as to continue on. And so, yeah, they, um... They hold, you know, they hold hands, and ultimately Goku gets to be the Super Saiyan God. Oh, woohoo! He's probably honestly stronger now in the canon than he was in the original because he got thanks to that ant from uh, Piccolo. And yeah, and uh, and I think as a reward, Piccolo's like, yeah, we're that strong here. And Piccolo would amp Tarble up too just to help him out a bit, really increase his strength. It's like, God damn it, come on, give me that up, man, Namekian. Why should I? Oh, come on, Piccolo. I mean, Vegeta's, Vegeta's um, been punished enough, hasn't he? He should have a chance to catch up to us, at least a little bit. It's like, Ugh, fine. It's like, um, yeah, wait, what are you doing? This is how it's done, all right? You, he <laughs> just puts answer. It's how it's done. You either have it, you either accept this, or you, or you'd get no way. Of, oh, fine, just do it. And then feels like, unbelievable. The power. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Uh, yeah, well, there's more to that. There's only initial amp, but then there's the amp that comes after that. And so, yeah, you get Goku fighting Beerus, still goes the same, and there you have it. Um, now, in terms of, um, in terms of Resurrection F, huh, I'm trying to remember, did, did, yes, I never had King Cold show up. So Resurrection F can actually be not Resurrection F, but Revenge of C. <laughs> revenge of the Vitamin C, where it's Revenge of K. Actually, no, sorry, Cold, Cold was spelled the K. Uh, Re uh, revenge of K. So a Resurrection F arc is actually the King Cole arc. So that's where we can lead into next chapter. Now, I'm aware that I had to self-correct myself several times in this chapter. If I have messed something up, Please, from the previous episodes, let me know. I will course correct in the next chapter and then just go from there. I thought I covered everything, but every now and now and then I just something gets it gets away from me. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time.